go up here today and change this frameless window. Frameless window is <laughs> not exactly right. It does have a frame. You just can't see it from the outside. Uh, you will. We'll show you more of that in a little bit, but this is how you change them. All right. If you've got a balance, you've got to get the balance off. you got to get the... Uh, Oop, gotta get the tackle off the balance first. <laughs> oh, we got a blind too we gotta deal with. I think it's actually attached to the balance. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh you know what? I think you're right. I think it is attached to the balance. It can be a bit of a pain getting these balances off, mainly just because you can't see what you're doing. You just have to be very, very gentle getting that trim off. outside take the wind off. Of course the wind that got broke while the customer was traveling they had no choice but to tape it up and, and continue with their travels. Now we have a window we're going to replace it. So we got to get all this duct tape and stuff off of here. careful not to tear up the fiberglass on the camper. It's not going to be that stuck. Just couldn't quite get it started with my fingers.
you know, they call it a frameless window. I guess it's just because you can't see the frame from the outside. It still has a frame just like every other camper window. So I don't know where they come up with the frameless part. Make sure they send us the right number real quick. It appears to be right. It's always a big plus. Something just a little bit different with the frameless windows as opposed to the windows they've been using for decades is the fact that it just uses a foam seal instead of putty tape or butyl or something like that. Just uh, start this on the bottom of the window so your seam is at the bottom. You just uh, Remove the paper off the sticky and just, it's really easy. <laughs> it's supposed to be really easy. Gosh, I hate this paper. So there's the there's the frame and there's the actual glass. So get it uh, get right on the edge of the frame. Just uh, work your way around. It actually goes around the corners very well. Just have to do it a little bit at a time. When you get to the end, I'm gonna trim these off straight. Try and butt them. Try and butt them right up to each other, so there's no gap. But it is on the bottom of the window, so if you do get a little gap, it's not. It's not the end of the world. This water typically doesn't go up. There we go. There's the window, it's all sealed up. Go put it back in the hole and put all them screws back in. Now all we're gonna do is get all the uh, screws put back in. They can be a bit of a pain on a new window because you have to make you have to make the new holes. Get everything lined up. Just take your time. It's, it just takes time. Get a get a screw starting like each side and each top and bottom and stuff first. Make life a lot simpler. It's pretty unusual not to find a couple of broken screws when you go to take them out. They over torque them when they when they build them built the camper. This one didn't have any. Just 
always a plus. balance back. Oh, no. We gotta put the trim back first. So I'll get that all set up. Now, whenever you're dealing with this trim, do yourself a favor. We have to get these old brad nails out. Don't bring them out in front because you'll just end up with a big hole that you gotta cover up. Just get your pair of, pair of pliers, take them right out the back. When you do that, you've got no hole on the face to deal with. That tip right there is worth a thousand dollars. a lot because it doesn't take that much to hold this trim up there. Actually, I'm surprised the factory didn't put like a thousand brad nails in it. They only put uh, a reasonable amount. So, very unusual. I've always said those guys get paid by the paid by the staple or paid by the brad nail. So that's how it seems. Five staples is good, 50 is even better.
all there is to it. Use a, use a bread gun. Now we we'll get to put the balance back. Uh, I'm not going to take you long for that. Alright, well there you have it. We replaced that frameless window. Uh, tried goo gone, get that, that uh, duct tape residue off. Wouldn't even touch it. Uh, customer said don't worry about it, she'll, she'll deal with that later. So we're going to move on to the next one.